want to buy a ticket for the train, you go to the ticket machine, but it's not working. Broken machine? In some cases, it's actually bigger than that. A cyber attack like what happened here in the UK last year. Criminals tried to shut down machines and rail computers for money. Some attackers view trains as targets. Here's what that means for you. A train attack in 2022 may look less like this and more like this. Files stolen, ticket machines not working, and possibly trains carrying troops or military cargo stopped in their tracks. A group calling themselves the Cyber Partisans say they hit the train system in Belarus at the start of Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February. The goal? To slow down Russia's war movement into Ukraine. They claim they disabled crucial software and the dispatching system, paralyzing hubs at the capital of Minsk and other cities. They're not the first to raid the rail system by digital means. In July 2020, Iranian cyber attackers claimed they caused severe damage to equipment and infrastructure at 28 train stations in Israel, saying they wanted to, quote, show that we can plan the collisions of tens of trains if we so wish. A year later, someone hacked Iran's trains, reportedly paralyzing the system and destroying crucial data. Messages showed up on screens in stations saying in Persian, long delays due to cyber attack and adding the number of the office of Iran's supreme leader. Now with the war in Ukraine, cybersecurity professionals say trains in other countries could potentially become targets. For example, Russian backed attackers could focus on NATO countries or other Western regions. Security consultants Mitchell Clark and Thomas Scriven with cybersecurity firm Mandiant say organizations making public statements condemning Russian aggression and or supporting Ukraine face an elevated risk. However, more likely, experts say, is a different kind of attack, not trains crashing into each other, but this ransomware where criminals motivated by money try to hold computer systems and data hostage. One of the first big ransomware rail attacks hit San Francisco in 2016, locking up ticket machines and computers, posting messages on screens asking for about $70,000 in ransom money to give the systems back. Ransom demands have gone up to more than $7 million in an attack on Vancouver, Canada's transport systems in 2020. Ransomware gangs tortured more rail systems and transport agencies in 2021, including two different train systems in the UK, Mersey Rail and Northern Rail. No crashing trains in these ransomware attacks, but still millions of dollars gone, either in ransom or in fixing broken systems, bringing headaches for people trying to run the trains and trying to ride them. London King's Cross. Mitchell and Thomas say ransomware can be serious. The cost to victims from disruptive economic and regulatory perspectives can be significant. What to do? If you run a train system, they advise things like creating a program to fix vulnerabilities or security gaps and to patch or update as soon as possible. Also, segmenting your networks, separating the operations or train running technology from the office technology, which is much more easily invaded with, for example, someone simply clicking on a bad link in an email. Plus, monitoring the operation systems for signs of cyber invaders out to get money or, in a few extreme cases, out to stop trains. What if you don't run trains, but instead just ride them? Back in 2008, a teenager hacked into train systems in Poland, derailing four cars and injuring 12 people. And I think that's a question that a lot of train riders have is, could attackers do a cyber attack on the train and cause them to crash? We asked Nick Erlob with cybersecurity organization MITRE. In the U.S., um, there's some significant safety mechanisms that are built into 
the equipment that's actually operating the, the switches and the signals. He says now in 2022, it would be very hard for cyber attackers to actually make trains crash. Attackers compromising stuff back at the control center um, is unlikely to have any safety implications for anyone. Uh, if I was you know, riding the train, I wouldn't have any special concern that, you know, a cyber attack would cause the train I was riding on to, to derail or to collide with another train. That's quite a relief. But cyber attacks impacting trains continue. On March 23rd, a report came out of Ukraine that people couldn't buy train tickets online or by phone because of a cyber attack hitting communication systems. The same day, Italy's National Rail Company reported a cyber attack and freight trains stopped on the tracks. Is there anything you can do other than prepare for delays if you ride the train, subway, metro, or light rail? Something to think about. If people who work for train systems use short or common passwords, they're more likely to get hacked and cause this cyber attack and chaos. So, in your own life, if you avoid those short and common passwords, you can more easily protect yourself, your data, and your family. In London, Carrie Tomlinson for Ampere News.